Hi everyone, let's learn how to create fibrous network in Blender. Here you can see a nice illustration. This is basically a paper substrate decorated with silver nanoparticle. This is a work from Professor K. Zor Thomas Lab, Isar Thirunandapuram. Let's learn how to work with lines and how we can duplicate it and create a fibrous network like this one. You might be working with nanofibers, paper substrate, filters, membranes, in all kinds of places you can use this technique. So let's open Blender. First of all, you need to add a curve, shift A, curve, bezier, and this is a line, right? So we will be working with this. So let's learn how a curve works. So on the right side here, you can see data, which looks like a line, which represents curve. And more importantly, under geometry, you can find something known as depth. If you increase depth, you can add thickness. Basically, you convert that line into a tube, a fiber. So let's go to top view so that we can work with this fiber. I'll click on this Z icon on this gimbal so that we can look from the top direction. And I will go to edit mode. Whenever you want to edit an object, go to edit mode, press tab on keyboard or click here, switch to edit mode. Now here you can see these lines. So we work with a Bezier curve by controlling these lines. These are basically tangents. So here we have a point, left click, and here you have second point. On both points, we have this tangent. Click here, this is tangent. Click here, this is tangent. So if you left click on both ends of this tangent, you can move that like this. See? And you can click here and move this up and down. See? That's how you work with a Bezier curve. So if you want to create smooth lines, this is the way to go. In Adobe Illustrator, we have pen tool, which is some sort of a similar you know, method where you know, we are using these handles to control curves, almost similar. So how to elongate this curve, left click on this point and press E. E is the shortcut for edit. And on the left side, you can see as soon as you select this point, you see tools for editing a curve. You can left click here and expand it like this so that you can read what those tools will do. This is for drawing. You can simply click and draw however you want. See, this is very powerful. And you have curve pen tool using which you can add new points. I will go back control Z. And you have extrude tool, which means click on one point and click on this extrude option. You can elongate it in directions that you want and press G so that you can move or use this move tool to move that so that you can precisely control it. And you have other options as well. We can explore them later. So now let's simply draw random shapes. So one way to do this, I'll switch to, I'll go back, control Z multiple times. I'll delete these two, control X vertices. I'll go back to object mode, press tab. One way to create that fibrous network is to duplicate one simple line. Shift D, duplicate it, rotate it along Z axis, R, Z, like this, and press G to move, and select both of them together. Press Shift D, so both of them will be duplicated. R, Z to rotate, press G again and do that like this and repeat the process. Shift D, R, Z like this and repeat Shift D, R, Z like that and select all of them. Shift D, R, Z and so if you want dense network, keep it like this. And that's how you do it. So if you have a hydrogel, for example, you can move them up instead of keeping all of them in one plane, right like this, so that you have a network. Maybe we can explore that in a separate tutorial. So I'll go back, control Z, how to create hydrogels and so on. 
so i'll maybe duplicate it one more shift d don't forget to go to top view so otherwise it will get randomly placed always work from top view if you want a planar membrane like structure shift d r z yep so that's how you do it but as i mentioned earlier select one go to edit mode you can also draw use this draw tool and if you are good at drawing using mouse you can you know draw fibers like this you can draw however you want see it will go in all sort of random positions i'll go back control z okay now we are good to go switch to solid preview mode we have some kind of a network now you can make it better i will keep it like this for now select all of them together and go to object and click on convert to mesh so these are basically lines now basically curves you can see here curve we need to convert them into a mesh a an object click on that and go to wireframe mode now you can see all of them are basically mesh they doesn't have those points or tangents now we can select all of them go to top view again press control j so that all of them will be joined into a single object now go to wireframe mode again go to edit mode press tab now make sure that you have selected select box and click and drag select like this now that looks okay maybe i can control it like this okay now we have selected a rectangular part that looks fine and we need to delete the rest of the region for that go to select click on invert so that all the rest of regions will be selected and press x and click on vertices now go to solid preview mode and go back to object mode now look at that you have successfully created a fibrous structure and you can take a nice render by adding a light shift grab z increase the size increase the power of the lamp a little bit go to render preview mode and select the shape and go to materials click on new change the color add a little bit of metallic property reduce roughness so that it will look more shiny and vibrant add a camera shift a camera go to camera preview mode like this lock the camera zoom out and move the camera like this and adjust the camera view and go to render preview mode under film activate transparent now we have transparent background go to render click on render image that's all you have a nice image and how to create a 3d fibrous network we can explore in a separate tutorial this is a quick tutorial if you want you can clean the edges as well by going to edit mode and you know for example these regions you can manually edit by ver single vertexes vertex points now you can save this right let me show you how to do it go to edit mode go out of the camera view you know here go to wireframe mode here these edge points if you think they are not looking clean you can simply manually edit them select press x click on vertices select these extra points yeah that's how you do it now you know how to create a planar fibrous membrane and now you know how to work with bezier curves see you in the next tutorial